Now, middleweight semi-final on ring B, and this should be a treat. Wilfred Sayen Senge, we've just seen make his way to the ring, and here is his opponent from DR Congo, David Sharma, Mwena Kabwe. And you can see on his eye, big bit of Vaseline grease, and, and we saw yesterday in his bout that he, he had that applied. Um, couldn't see any, was there blood from it? I can't really remember, but I remember it being attended to. Yeah. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, there was blood, and they, they, they cleaned it up. It was not a big cut, but again, this is the the result of having, you know, bouts back-to-back -back days, and, and uh, that that area will be worked on because across the way in the red corner, uh, Wilfred uh, uh, Sengue has been uh, maybe the most impressive we've seen. Certainly one of them. He was uh, excellent yesterday against Raul Obama Monke, and... Uh, yeah, he looks a really complete fighter. He he was the flag bearer for Cameroon at Rio 2016, just 18 years old. The year before that, he won an African championship title, and that was at uh, middleweight. Uh, he stepped up for last year's African Games. He went to light heavy. He was knocked out in the round of 16, but back down to middleweight. Uh, he also won a, a silver medal in the uh, Commonwealth Games. Uh, at middleweight, uh, that was in 2018. He's based in Montreal these days, uh, fights professionally. And uh, uh, Ron Lewis, who is uh, running our live blog, he, he picked him out as, as a boxer to watch this week. He's up against David Sharma, Mena Kabwe, who uh, had too much firepower for Arena Pakela of Lesotho yesterday. But uh, a very different test. Pakela was quite short. Senge is uh, a giant by comparison. He is a specimen, and uh, as we've all said, very impressed. And we we think uh, what we've seen, we think we think he can he can get better and has another level or two. We'll find out here. Uh, Shama said after his after his win uh, yesterday that my joints are still tired. I need more precision next fight. So his joints will get a little bit more of a workout here. They certainly will, and that uh, you can see. Senge already going to work with that left jab. Uh, Sharma trying to get on the attack, get on the front foot. You can see the footwork already from Senge. And uh, we might see that uh, trademark backflip if he gets to the decision. But uh, they're already starting to trade. Still inside the opening minute of round one Sharma doubling up the jabs there was intent in that left from Senge which uh, just missed the target again winner goes to Tokyo moves on to the final loser has another path in the uh, bout for third place coming up uh, after this later Friday Senge getting through with the rights he's landed a couple of those in the last few seconds uh, he's, he's warming to the task now after his last bout, he said, uh, physically, it was very difficult. I fought hard. Uh, I didn't have enough recovery time, which is the case again today. He said, I can do better than I, what I put out. I'm not just here for a medal. I work so hard, very hard. I'm here. I'll only be content with gold. And, uh, and there is some importance in winning gold because it's more ranking points. Yep. And it gives you the chance of, of, of seeding at Tokyo. So you, you potentially avoid a boxer from one of the bigger nations. Right. So uh, some some boxers may not contest the finals. We have seen that in previous qualification tournaments, but others will be going for gold. They might not contest. Yeah, some some decide that they've they've already done enough. They've got to Tokyo. They've got to the Olympics. That's enough. So they'll just they're, they're essentially take a silver medal. Yes. Okay. Fifty seconds to go. We're hoping there will be plenty of finals, though. We, 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 we do are. hope. And, uh, that will be after tomorrow's rest day. But as you can see, Senge has a real precision about his work. He, he's got... He's quick. I'm not going to take a look at the cut now. Oh, right. I, I was wondering why... I, I was a bit amused. Is that some sort of... Is it a butterfly stitch or uh, yeah, something? I thought that's what it was. Uh, it could have been a, just a big glob of uh, 
you know, something with a with a, with a little bit of a gauze on it or something, but it's yeah. out. Whatever it is is out. Something perhaps for Senge to aim at. Sharma firing back. Last few seconds of round one, and uh, referee getting involved. And was that a low? I think maybe it was a low blow, no, but, but it was to the side. It wasn't really going to do much damage. There is closing bell to round one. Sharma yeah. seemed to want to continue, but uh, <laughs> so that's your lot. Sengre saying, hey, don't you hear that? That's that's my time to go to my corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've had your three minutes. Yes, exactly. I'll be out here in a minute. Yep. But uh, I don't think too much doubt about the winner of round one. No, and I, I appreciate the work rate of... Uh, Shama. I mean, he's in there and getting busy and doing what he can, blocking a lot of those, but still catching a lot. And for, you know, the optics of this for the judges, I, I think I think it's a 10-9 for Senga. I'd go with that. There was a nice uppercut landed in those in those replays, but uh, as you say, all five giving it to Wilfred Say Senge. And, uh, he's on top. And... and for Sharma, it's a, it looks a difficult matchup. He's, he's up against a big middleweight, a tall middleweight, who's yep. quick, he's got a good jab. And, and he needs got, to get beyond that somehow. Yeah, he'd have to just get in, uh, get inside, and not, not, be, and just be out of range and be able to work in close. Good punches landed by Sharma and Senge. Just think he evaded most of the. Uh, Potential damage, Shama but they're really starting arrived. to trade. Yes, he has. He has arrived, and let's see. I talked about the next level for uh, Sengue, and this is this is the next level time. It is. It's a much bigger test than uh, he faced yesterday. I'll say the same for both of these men, but uh, Sharma showing plenty of fight. And he continues a great first minute. That was good from Sharma, and Senge just needs to have his wits about him a yes. bit here. First time he's really been tested. And he is being tested right in the middle of the ring. And Sharma having some success here. He is. He's just working hard, outworking Senge, but again, it's only halfway through the round. And Senge getting to work with that jab again. It's hard to keep up the pace of... Oh, that's a good chat. That was stiff. Shana and again, and a combination. And now Senge perhaps starting to get on top. As you say, for Sharma, he came out quickly, but you can see him just losing some of that intensity as the round progresses. Senge being told to keep his head up. Locking those shots. Almost beckoning Sharma onto him there. Not sure what the talking's about. Yeah, it's a bit fussy for me. 45 seconds to go in round two. It's been a better round for Sharma. I, I think it's uh, his round at the moment. Just, just a work rate. Activity, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I don't think he's caused... I don't think he's hurt uh, Senge at all, but not about that. I think he had said break. And, uh, just being warned. Senge. I think we're in for a grandstand finish here. Well, I think I, Sharma's done enough to take this round. I do too. Uh, I, I'm wondering what uh, what each one has left in the third round. Great exchange at the end of yeah. round two. Uh, this is this is classic stuff. And then the obligatory stare down, which tells us uh, there is a little more here than meets the eye, which this is, is good. Uh, yeah. This is boiling up. I, I'm just. I mean, that was a furious round for. Sharma, does he have enough left? Yeah, he'd have used a lot of effort there. Yeah, that, that cut, 
Uh, I haven't seen a lot of blood. I don't, it's not a factor. No, I just want to make sure to maintain it. That's a great aggression, commitment from Sharma in round two. And, uh, yeah, I think he got it. I think he took I, I do it. I too, and he, he did a good job of, of not uh, – he didn't back down and really didn't give uh, Sengwe a chance to fire away and, and work from a distance. It was just in the middle of the round I thought Senge was getting back into it, but uh, – there you go. Judges agree. Yeah. All five giving it to Sharma. So and here I we think, go. Yeah, for one of the first times this uh, afternoon, we've got a real contest on our hands. Dead even. Absolutely. And it's all about these last three minutes for a spot in Tokyo. So much on the line for these men. And really, uh, this is the time when we would expect, based on uh, the pedigree and, the, you know, already having been to Rio, and uh, we would expect uh, Senge to, to dial it up, but uh, where he's also getting a furious challenge from Shama. Big exchange at the start of the round. Of course, the loser gets a second chance in, in the box off after the rest day. Three spots for Toke up for grabs, but uh, for both these men, they'll want to settle it here. They'll want to progress to the final. Holding. This is what we came for, huh? Sharma, right absolutely. Here. This is what it's all about. Just over two minutes to go. A big round would settle it. But who's it going to be? Is it going to be Senge in the red? Is it going to be Sharma in the blue? And Incredible. Sharma, I think, at, yes, at the moment. He's working so hard and it's paying off. Still plenty of time left in round three. Again, not surprising. Oh, it's a good right from Sharma. And Senge just looks a bit flat all yeah. of a sudden, and a left again from yeah, Sharma. Yeah, well, he's, he's uh, feeling it. He, he talked so about not having go. much time to recover before the semi-final, and I just wonder, the first round, he, he looked... I wouldn't say in control, but he was definitely on top. But Sharma has just really dug deep in these last one and a half rounds. And, and I think he's carrying the fight to Senge. And I think he's just about on top. Yep, minute to go. Sharma keeps this going. I, I think he's got it. I think he's got the spot in Tokyo. Still time for Senge to land a big combination. And he's going to have to. There's a good left. Stiff, wasn't it? He just walked into that, did uh, Sharma. And Sharma just firing on adrenaline now, and, uh, and it's working. He turned this fight around, and what we said after losing on all five cards in round one, he needed oh, something big. Good left, effect. and a big oh, left big again one. from Sharma. And uh, Senge felt it. He fires back Here now. He realizes he needs something big. 20 seconds to go. All up for grabs. And Sharma just almost running down the clock there. Yeah. I think he's on top yeah, in this he's round. He's done enough. And a uh, bit of a surprise. But Sharma's commitment and work rate, I think, has yep. won him the day. They both think they've won. Yeah, and they're talking about it. Uh, I, I don't think Sengue won. I think Sharma's got it. I do too. And you can see he thinks he's won it. Yeah. Senge perhaps not quite so exuberant in his no, reaction. No, we've seen him do backflips and... Uh, and after the vet. After the Right, vet. he won't do that here. Uh, Unless he's got it, of course. I, I, I think Sharma's... I do I too. I think Sharma's taken he, it. He, he did the same things in round three that he did in round two. And um, there was there was more more pushback... He's not technically as gifted as Senge. I think we can say that. No. But the commitment and work rate, there's touch of the fist. Good show of mutual respect. But here comes the decision. I'd expect it to go to the man in blue. And this would be immense. It is, it is. Yes. Sharma gets it. And yep. I think that's deserved. He I gets do a too. thumb up from the uh, Cameroon corner. And it's a bit of an upset. It is. Based on uh, everything we thought going in and, and really there. Their work coming into this bout, but uh, 
And the first round, it looked as advertised. Yes. But a, 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 just a, a commitment, I would say, from Shama to just take it right to him. And he was just relentless. Uh, he's from Democratic Republic of Congo, and that's their first boxer at the Olympic Games since London 2012. And uh, I think that's that was just a real demonstration of, even though, as I say, not as technically gifted, and he got it on all five, they all gave him the final round, yeah, and did. I think that was right. I do but too. just what you can do, occasion, just bringing your best, commitment, heart, he just really went for that. And, uh, yeah, as I say, not as technically gifted as in Senge, well, he, but he's got it done. In the first five seconds of round two when he needed the round, he went right over and reintroduced himself 